Hello, Gemini. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment this reading resonates. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which one I want. Okay. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Gemini? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Gemini. Please and thank you. Okay, so we have two coming out. You guys have the seven of wands and the moon. Ten of swords coming up in your challenge position. There's some sort of hidden information here outcome things going better for you than you were expecting things turning out better than you were expecting you know okay six of swords moving on happier times ahead also receiving some sort of assistance knight of pentacles working hard towards something that's leading towards growth and expansion with the magician energy, you're in this magician energy, accomplishing major goals here. You're working hard on something. Uh, some of you guys will receive some uh, help as well. I'm getting that coming through with Six of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. So you're now realizing that you possess, you possess the skills necessary to accomplish something here, a major goal of yours. So there's growth and expansion. You are about to accomplish something major here. You're starting off as Knight of Pentacles. You're, you've been working hard towards something and it's about to pay off for you because you've been really dedicated and focused on something that's leading towards growth and expansion. Now, some of you guys are preparing for the worst and they're basically saying there's no cause for that. It's like you're... You don't know that something is going to turn out bad, but you, you've already prepared for it to turn out bad. You've already prepared to fight some challenges, some battles here. But your outcome is good. We have Knight of Pentacles. So this lets me know things are going to turn out better than you're expecting. This is really good and exciting news here. Good and exciting times. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Um, It's like you're expecting someone, some people to disappoint you, to cause problems in your life, and that's not going to happen. It's, it's I'm, I'm getting the energy of someone like saying, oh, I already know, like, it's going to turn out horrible. Like, some of y'all could even go on a trip. I don't know. It's like, even if it's a relationship, there's something that you're, you're already, you're already preparing for the worst to take place. And you don't even know because you have the moon energy. You don't even know how this is going to turn out. You don't know what's to come, but you're already preparing for the worst. You're, pre you're preparing for a fight here. And they're saying you don't even have to. So it's like, Really, I'm getting the issue is, is that you've been betrayed so many times. You've had your heart broken so many times that you, you just stay on guard. You always expect the worst. And it's because you've seen the worst out of people. But I definitely am getting like, um, I'm not even necessarily getting the advice. They're really telling you that things are going to turn out better than you're expecting. Like a situation is either improving or it's going to just be better than you're expecting here. Give me uh, more about this. Yes, again. Yeah, something that you worked hard for. Okay. Um, happiness here. Your outcome to confirm, excuse me, your outcome burp confirmation to confirm it is a nine of cups. So you're going to be extremely happy with the way things turn out. 
but you're just preparing for the worst. This doesn't match up with the rest of the spread at all. It's letting me know that you're preparing for something that's not going to happen. You're expecting a fight, but it's, it's not going to happen. Everything is going to work out in this situation. I don't know whether it's like you are about to be around your family. There's a relationship. There's a job. It's something that you're working towards here that's going to turn out very well. Better than you're expecting is what I'm getting. Okay, let's see. Messages for the Geminis who are in a relationship. Messages for the Geminis who are in a relationship. Gemini, I see you letting this relationship go. You're coming through as a page of pentacles. They're coming. This is not the person you're in a relationship with. There's someone new coming into your life. Um, because your outcome is you keeping your options open. Now, I do. I am getting that this is the right choice for you to make. For you to start over. Yeah, it, it's some an ending taking place between you and this person. Um, I don't. I'm getting that you don't feel like you're fulfilled in this relationship. And in order for you to get what you desire to have, you know that you need to let this go and move on towards something new. I definitely am getting that you're attracting much better because whoever is coming towards you, this is someone that you'll have a good time with. Um, some of you guys are getting prepared to move on from this connection. I don't know if you share a home with this person or some sort of investment that you share with this person, but it's almost, I'm getting this energy of like, you're excited about moving on, but she knows you need to be prepared to move on. But I'm, I'm also getting someone new coming into your life, like right after. Some of you guys like right before the split, but at the same point, I don't see like you committing to this new relationship immediately i see like you still will keep your options open but there is someone that you'll be extremely interested in i don't see you staying in this current connection and as a matter of fact their energy isn't even coming uh coming through so it's almost like you've completely disconnected from this already okay messages regarding the person that gemini is in separation from Messages for the person that Gemini is in separation from. So you want to have an honest, truthful conversation with this person. They're heartbroken over this. So they're really heartbroken over this. You want to speak your peace. You want to be honest about this situation. Have a conversation with them. King of Swords. I don't see the two of you getting back together, but I am definitely getting that there will be a level of respect um, obtained from a conversation that's going to take place. I definitely am. I don't see the two of you uh, getting back together, but I definitely am seeing the relationship between you and this person improving. It's like you guys will at least respect one another because I don't get that you're on... I don't like you're fine. Your energy is showing up as fine. You just want to get something off your chest. That's what I'm getting. But they are heartbroken. They are devastated over this. So I definitely just see a conversation taking place where you guys reach an understanding and you gain a level of respect for one another. And that's really all that I'm getting from this. I don't see you guys like really keeping in touch. You guys may continue to talk back and forth for a little bit of time, like after a conversation takes place, but I don't see that. I don't see the energy um, 
understand like that. But it's also no harsh feelings. Okay, messages for single Geminis. Messages for single Geminis. Okay, so you have an offer coming in. This The Four of Cups always lets me know that someone's not happy with the current offers that they have, but they have someone coming in that they will be interested in. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so someone you will be building a legacy with. Oh, no. I'm sorry, you all. Some of y'all, this new person coming into their, in, into, you could be coming into their life, but I don't, it, it could be, I don't know why that just slipped through. But I mean, of course you guys will be coming into each other's life. It looks like um, their community. So whether it's their friends, their family will be creating conflict within you all's relationship. But the thing is, it's like, even though there may be outsiders trying to create conflict within this relationship, I definitely am getting like two of you can definitely have something beautiful with one another. Some of you guys, this person may live at a distance. You can meet them while you're traveling. Um, but it's definitely going to be a challenging connection, not because of the two of you, but because of other people interfering in this connection and making it difficult. But I definitely am like so far the energy that I'm getting is that two of you will make it work despite because I, I don't see I definitely see this person standing up for you uh, I don't see them just allowing people to be disrespectful towards you they could come from a wealthy background it doesn't matter I definitely am just getting like their friends their family creating issues within this relationship but either way I see like two of you working it out and all all I'll end up doing is creating a stronger bond between the two of you Okay, messages regarding person that Gemini is crushing on. Messages regarding person that Gemini is crushing on. Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Outcome, Ten of Cups. Okay, so um, it looks like you guys are the pursuer. With the Knight of Cups. You're the one making the romantic proposal, Gemini. Um, their energy is coming through. It's like showing you what they're capable of. Whenever I see the Queen of Pentacles. It's like someone proving themselves to you. Or proving why you should choose them. Okay. It's not like they're really. I definitely am getting there. Like the Queen of Pentacles is not this desperate energy. It's not that pick me energy. But. It's that energy of like, okay, for one, I'll be fine on my own. You know, that's the energy that comes from the Queen of Pentacles. And for two, it's like the things that she's able to do. It's like she's everything that um, a person who's looking for a long-term committed relationship, she's everything that they desire to have. You know, I definitely am getting like you and this person will have a beautiful life with one another. You guys will be truly happy with one another. I'm going to get one more for them. Yeah, I definitely am just getting this energy of this person just trying to prove that they're good on their own. They may feel the need to prove that they are good financially on their own. I'm not getting that, that ne that's necessarily or that's necessary, but it's something that they just feel like they need to prove, something that they feel like they need to do. Either way. Your outcome is great with this person. You'll build a beautiful life with one another. You'll be truly happy with this person. So, okay, messages regarding new love. New love for Gemini. Eight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. I love the Six of Pentacles energy. Someone who's very generous. Give me one more. One more. Um, I, I really get this coming from your energy, Gemini. 
Now, I even though like you're in this energy of Eight of Cups, you don't feel um whoever this is for, you don't currently feel fulfilled in life. And you the energy that I'm getting is that you just feel like you'll be so much happier if you just had a loving relationship, a beautiful relationship with someone else. I definitely am getting that there's someone very kind and generous coming towards you. The only issue that I get in the outcome of this spread is that you could allow your fear of love to interfere with something great. So the only thing that I'm getting is that for you to work on any insecurities that you may have so that you don't mess up a connection that's coming in that could turn into something beautiful, okay? for you all. No. Good Lord. no life is happy or content without balance. Ask yourself before making a decision, how does this, this way, is it in balance? Okay. So someone is trying to Or someone is needing to bring things into balance to really see if something fits in their life or if something is going to work in their life. What is this? No life is happy because I saw this come through twice. I continue to shuffle and then it wants to come out. No life is happy with no life is happy or content without balance. Someone is needing balance. All work and no play. Someone has been working a lot. Someone feels like they don't have any other choice but to work a lot. I definitely am getting like, uh, for a couple of signs I've been seeing this, that now is a good time for people to decide, do they want to continue in the career, fit, the career field that they currently are in? Because there's an issue if you are working so hard, but you're still not able to make ends meet that's a problem. So whether you need to go back to school or you're just needing to completely change things up and someone may feel like, okay, how am I even going to find time to do that? But there is some sort of change that needs to take place. Do you want to continue on this way or do you want to make a change? Is what someone is needing to decide. Some of you guys may even need to move. You're paying way too much for the place that you're currently staying in. Um, spring, your seeds, see your seeds grow. There is growth taking place, shedding old skin, a new you emerging, um, moving beyond ancestral patterns. Be brave and honest. I definitely see a change taking place. Some of y'all are just waiting for a change to take place. You have made changes here. Like you've, you've taken the necessary action. Now you're just waiting for things to fall into place. And I definitely see that taking place. Um, for you because we're in spring so you should be seeing some changes taking place you should see growth uh, that's going to allow you to break free of something here so i'm gonna leave it there these are the messages that came through for you guys at this time please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if this reading resonates with that being said you all take care